Hey, how's it going everyone? This is Jonathan Coase and in today's free brief AI training, I'm going to be following up on a previous video that I made on how to set up and deploy auto GPT in 10 minutes. And in this video, I'm going to be focusing more on a browser based version, which is called agent GPT. You don't even need an API key at least in the beginning, because you have five different tasks that you can complete per day using their own in-house API keys. You can give it a name and then you can give it a goal. And on the side, it's going to start creating those tasks for you. It's going to follow up with it over and over until it's accomplished. So if you remember with auto GPT, there was three bots. You had GPT 3.5, you had GPT 4, and then you had a companion bot that accompanied to make sure that it was all working in unison. And it's like the perfect assistant. And I showed you how to set it up locally so that you're able to deploy it on your computer without even having your browser open and it's able to use your command box and you're able to give it prompts etc well i just want to show you an alternative option which is agent gpt you don't have to download visual studio git etc and python and whatnot all you have to do is just come to this website, agentgpt.reworked.ai, and then you can just give it a name. At the very bottom here where it says settings, this is actually where you can put your API key in. So if you remember in my auto GPT video, I showed you how to get your API key from platform.openai.com. Now this is option. You're able to use agent GPT five times a day without even having to put your API key in. So if you notice at the very top, it says zero out of five runs for every task that you complete, a new number is going to fill in there. And if you want more than this, then you're going to need to put your API key in. And then you can also even subscribe. So they got different tier lists where you can get 30 agents per day at $40 a month. You have GPT 3.5 turbo, you have GPT 4, 25 loops per agent, unlimited web search capabilities, access to the latest agent GPT plugins, etc. And then if you want to go even further than that, then you can use the enterprise option. So let's go back to agent GPT here and go ahead and put in a task. So you can just name it whatever you want. So you can name it something that's relevant to your objectives. So for example, I'm going to name it Samurai GPT. Oops. And then I already have a goal here, just something I just made up real quick. And then once you're done, you go ahead and click on play. And then what's going to happen is it's going to start to think, as you can see here, and then it's going to add different tasks. And then from those tasks, it's going to start to deploy. So as you can see, it's executing, analyzing the current internet marketers, YouTube channels, including the content, subscribers, views, and engagement. After analyzing data from various internet marketer YouTube channels, it is evident that there are several channels that consistently provide valuable marketing advice and insights. These channels have amassed a significant number of subscribers, views, and engagement, making them strong competitors. And then it's talking about the different YouTube channels. They're talking about the engagement, how to compete. So now that it's done analyzing, it's going to go to the task. Identify the target audience and demographics of the current internet marketers channels. Searching the web for current internet marketing channel demographics. As you can see, Agent GPT follows up on that process over and over again until it's ultimately complete. So on the right hand side, if you click on this, you actually see the task, the current task coming up on the right hand side, and you can see them getting deployed as it goes along. So you'll see it right here and you also see it on the right hand side and you can even add custom tasks. So as you can see, you do have a limit max loops of five exceeded and only get five loops with the free version. And then it shuts down. And if you want to carry on even further, you just take your API key, you go to platform.api.com, you go to view API keys and you're going to want to make sure that you have it copied on a notepad because you can't really copy it from here. Even if you click on edit, you won't be able to copy it. So you have to create a brand new key if you forgot it for some reason. So in order to do that, you have to just click on create a new key and then put the new key in. And then from there, you can delete your old one. And then you take that and you go to AGGPT and you go to settings and then you put your API key in. That way you have more. So for now, Samurai GPT has created all this for me. So what I can do from here is I can actually go to the top. I can click on image. I just want to show you what that image looks like real quick. So if you click on open image, it'll actually have the entire task for you on a image doc, which is if you want that, you can go ahead and open it up as so, and then you can zoom in to see it easier. It's a little, little difficult to see, but it's convenient if you zoom in real close and then you sort of use the hand here to kind of go through the whole thing. You also have the option of saving it to a PDF. So that's a lot easier. So you're not constantly scrolling up and down. So if you click on save to a PDF and I'll just go ahead and click on open just to show you what that looks like. And as you can see, it has saved it to a PDF. It has all the different tasks. It starts with the goal and then it goes through the entire process until it's finished. Now I have something here called read aloud. 
It's a text to speech voice reader where you can just click on it and then it's going to read the screen. It's asking me to use the form to upload the PDF. So I just basically just choose the file that agent GPT just gave me and I'll upload it from there. And then it's going to read it out loud to me. That way I don't have to read it myself. You do have that option. I do recommend that. I'll have that in the description as well. So one of the frequently asked questions is, do you need chat GPT plus for a subscription? These aren't to be confused. Platform.openai.com, which is pay as you go model. If you're using the API access, not to be confused with chat gpt plus the subscription is completely different from chat gpt plus do you need your own api key for subscription no using your own api key is completely optional subscribers get access to the in-house api keys with much higher rate limits how can you cancel your subscription after subscriber you can cancel your subscription anytime by just clicking on manage your account and then if you need help contact them and if for any reason you're having an issue canceling your account after that point you can just contact the support so i just want to bring that to your attention as regards to the frequently asked questions but i do want to share with you their discord because it's a pretty robust community and they have a lot of the different updates that they've gone through since they've gotten started back in i believe it was march or april time frame so this came out july 18th they're saying that we've never expected this to happen when we first launched age gpt it feels like just yesterday that we were scrambling to keep up with the overnight traffic surge that came from our release three months prior we've learned a lot from that time so i wanted to share this with you just kind of give you a caveat and a heads up language models do have issues with hallucinations just so you know we're managing our expectations here they make up information not grounded in any fact. So that can happen with any AI agent. Agents suffer from repetition. They struggle to understand the current context of a task leading to unproductive loops. So this can happen, so just expect that. Failure probability only compounds with longer running agents. So the longer you have it running, if, it's, if it started off with a failure, it's gonna continue to keep failing and it's gonna compound. Businesses are increasingly seeking automation through AI agents. So it's important to understand this now so that we're able to deploy on our own businesses. And if you're doing any type of consultation with anyone else or other like local businesses or any other businesses, let's say if you're an SEO doing search engine optimization, you can deploy and integrate AI into your methodology and learn how to create agents so that you're able to use this with your process and possibly get work done on your behalf when you're not there. So I just want to share this with you. I'll leave this in the description. All of this will be in the tools and resources below. This is their Discord. All you got to do is just set up an account and then click accept invite. And it's going to take you here. You have all the different GitHub agents. You have the general. You have the community here. So if you have any type of questions and then they have different feature requests, if you see something that you will like, but it's not there. But I just want to make this video brief. This should show you what AGGPT is all about. I'm going to have more videos covering this, especially when deploying it for different use cases for businesses, when it comes to email marketing, other marketing processes, analyzing different data and using it to create marketing strategies, lead generation, different optimization tweaks and techniques for landing pages and sales funnels. So I'm definitely going to be covering AGGPT more. I just want to create this brief video just to show you the basic setup, how it works, the frequently asked questions as well as the discord and where to go to get your api key if you want more loops all right so that's pretty much it for this video i hope you enjoy if you like content like this then i highly recommend that you subscribe i'm definitely going to be making more videos when it comes to artificial intelligence and automation so be sure to check out my playlist in the playlist tab you'll see where it says ai and automation and take a look at my website jonathancoast.com if you're looking for more information in regards to generating more traffic and sales and take a look at the tools and the resources below i have everything that i included in this training with that said i will see you in the next video. See you there.